there was a shift that occurred for me that allowed me to be able to completely stop drinking cold turkey after years of privately, you know, internally struggling with not really being able to let it go. Even though, you know, I never went to rehab, I was really never an alcoholic, air quotes, right? I, I was kind of just a normal social drinker, just like everybody I would drink on Fridays and Saturdays, but it was such a huge part of my, like, reality's construct since I was like 14 to go out and get drinks with friends and to, you know, have drinks on Fridays and Saturdays and get it with dinner, that it was so hard to let go until I recognized that where energy where attention goes, energy flows. And that's something that I think is lost on a lot of us when we're trying to live life without drinking is we're so focused on what I'm trying to run away from. You know, what is it that I don't want to be doing anymore? I don't want to be, you know, having these uh, hangovers. I don't want to be having these bad feelings anymore. I don't want to feel sick. I don't want to feel... Um, anxious on Sundays, the Sunday scaries. I don't want to feel bad about myself or be confused about what happened because I blacked out. All of these things are what we're running away from, where instead it's a matter of shifting our mind toward what are we really running toward? <laughs> what are we going toward? What is the point of, cons- of not drinking? And, and I think that is the thing that we want to focus on, not something that we want to rate, want to, want to run away from. And that's, that's really what I did. I got to a place where I wanted better friendships. I wanted friendships that brought me a sense of feeling seen, right? Feeling connected with other people who really feel, felt like they understood me and I understood them. I wanted to go toward that and what that would bring to my life. The, the, you know, the, the different fun experiences that just those different relationships could bring to my life. And I was focused on going toward that. I wanted to know myself better. I I felt that I didn't have a total strong grip on myself. Um, It got to that place. You know, I decided to stop drinking when I was 25 or 26 years old. And I, I just felt that up until that point, I thought I knew who I was, and then when my boyfriend and I broke up, uh, you know, around 25 or 26, I don't remember what it was, but it, it sort of like uh, took away my whole identity, which is like a sign of a healthy unattachment, right? But a lot of that was due to the fact that I spent most every single weekend drinking my whole life since I was 14, um, just socially, right? Just like we all do, because that's what's culturally ingrained in us. And after that experience, I didn't have him to go out and get drinks with. I realized not only did I not have really great connective deep friendships that I I really wanted to go toward these amazing friendships, but I really wanted to know myself. And I wanted to know who Lauren was. Like, what do I like to do on a Saturday morning if I'm not hungover? <laughs> or even like even the slightest bit hungover, right? Like even if you have a couple drinks, it makes it makes me feel off. So what do I do when I wake up? What is the energy around me that I can create for myself? What is that life like? I wanted to know that. And that was something that I moved toward and really focused on who am I? What do I think about? What are my thoughts? Another element of what I moved, wanted to move toward is I wanted to create a better lifestyle for myself. You know, like, it wasn't even creating a better lifestyle. I wanted to be the best I could be in my career. Probably, honestly, because of my ego. Because um, I do have an ego. Uh, but I'm, And I'm competitive. But I wanted to be this person who is in charge of driving the revenue for this startup that I was working at. And I wanted to be the one to do it. Because I had this like calling in me to to do it like it wasn't like it was just these ideas that it might just purely ego like there was something pulling me toward figuring that out and building this business and all of that and I was I was I was pulled toward almost leveling up in my career and in my business acumen versus running away 
right? Like the, the, the contrast when I was drinking is that I didn't really have enough. Like when I was drinking, it was night and day. I would wake up on a Saturday and a Sunday tired. I would kind of go into work on a Monday, like still tired. Um, Tuesday, still tired. Wednesday, still kind of tired. And I really wasn't performing at my, my highest potential. So I knew that. And what I wanted because of that was to know how I could tap my potential. And that's what I was going toward. When I was drinking, I knew I just, there's things that we know. And I knew I was not living up to who I truly was, who I was supposed to be. You know, there's almost like this calling, this internal power within me that I felt kind of like tingling beneath the surface. But I couldn't access it because I was always recovering from drinking, just even from having a few drinks on a Friday or having a few drinks on a Saturday. Um, And not only that, I think, you know, the other part of what was calling me forward was this knowing that there was just more meant for me. Um, Now, I don't like have a straightforward example. I didn't in that moment have a straightforward example of what that was. It wasn't like I was like, and I'm going to be, you know, millionaire. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm not a millionaire, but I, I had this sense of like, there was a vacancy in my life or sort of like a, I'm supposed to be doing something more than what I was doing. And that was pulling me forward. And so, you know, I'm saying all these things from my perspective of like, what my life was like, but I'm hoping it transcends a little bit more into what we can all recognize of like where our attention goes, energy flows. And I feel that so many people when they are trying to or considering life without drinking, there's this hyper focus on what we're running away from. And the problem with that is like what we're running away from is what ends up growing what we're focused on is what ends up growing always. Um, when we are focused on getting away from something, that thing, and it just inevitably grows because that's where the energy is put toward. And so people, I think, struggle with this life without drinking. And we go back and forth, we go back and forth because we are so focused on the things that we're running away from versus paying attention to what we're going toward. And when we pay attention to what, when I paid attention to what was, you know, what, what it is that I was going toward, it actually became very easy to stop drinking because drinking made those things inaccessible to me, for me, right? So for you, that might be something different. For a lot of people that might be, I want to be the best mom in the world to spend time with my kids and have the energy to do that. Well, if we, if we spend all of our time thinking about how crappy of a mom we are or how we don't have energy for them ever or whatever like that's what will continue to happen Um, that's how it works but if we pay attention to okay today I want to do the thing that's going to make me the best mom in the world or that's what we're excited about that's what we think about that is what will evolve and it'll pull us away gradually into another space that it's almost like a a different like a different frequency that we're now connecting with that is toward something and not running from something and then suddenly everything in our reality that you know of the we're trying to create a new reality of going toward life without drinking because of the things that we want not because of what we're running away from and as we focus on the things that we want and it pulls us forward and we we allow that pulling to happen. We pay attention to that. We feel excited about that. We feel the thrill of that, the allure. Suddenly, the, the, the other things that pull us away from that, like being hungover, like being around people who don't have interesting conversations or just sitting at a bar drinking only, being you know, sick and anxious on a Saturday and Sunday, no longer like is fulfilling. So no one needs to convince us to stop drinking anymore. We do it to ourselves. And it happens naturally and quickly because again, where our, our focus and our attention goes, grows. It's like where our attention goes, energy flows. So we want to put our energy towards what we're trying to get or not even what we're trying to get, who we want to become, who, what we want to feel like, 
who we want to embody and naturally the things that will prevent us from getting there will just fall away and that is essentially how i created my new reality when i cold turkey decided to stop drinking after years of ping-ponging back and forth just trying to do shots no shots just doing beers okay no beers no wine um, not drinking after 9 p.m you know oh like just on fridays one day a week like all the ping-ponging back and forth that eventually landed me on yeah i actually am somebody who should not drink because i have so much more potential that's hidden beneath the surface that i cannot access because of it and it, it, it made it very, like one day to the next, it was like my brain just went click. And I realized in order for me to have the friendships I want, to have the self-respect for my career that I want, for me to feel good about life and to feel like I know who I am and to know what energy I create in this world and who I'm surrounded by, alcohol is not getting me there. And that's what I'm going toward. We have to like point in the direction of what we want, point that direction. And then I do believe the universal factors will come into play to assist us. But decide who you wanna be and go toward that. And naturally, that is who you become. And it's done to you. You don't have to convince yourself any longer of who, of not to drinking, not drinking or you know, this or that, you just eventually realize that if, if that's who you want to become, it's not going to get you there. So I hope this helps you guys. I think a lot of times where we, where we mistakenly focus our attention is again on the lack. What are we want? What are we running away from? What am I trying to get away from? And it, it's the opposite. What are you going toward? What are you going toward? Who do you want to become? You can be anything you want to be you can completely change your reality in this world to be anything and anyone you want to be my life completely changed when I decided to stop drinking night and day it was one day I was drinking I went on a three-day bender because of a breakup and then the next day suddenly I was somebody who didn't drink anymore and from there my income multiplied by seven my friendships over the next years developed into amazing deep friendships I created a YouTube channel I got a new job at a massive Fortune 500 company as a sales director. I moved to new cities with people that are far more connected to what I enjoy. I attracted better opportunities and people that are more aligned to me who actually fulfilled and like filled in a lot of places in my heart that I needed to have filled in and taught me a lot of lessons. All because I decided to stop drinking and shifted that reality. So yeah, it is probably one of the greatest life hacks of all time if you really want to change your reality you can do it focus on what you want and go toward that and where where your where your attention goes energy flows so let me know your thoughts if you agree or disagree or you have anything you want to share about this um, go ahead and like if you're into this kind of stuff subscribe I talk about all things human optimization exploration life hacks and as always, share with anybody if you think they need to see it. But we can totally recreate our realities. Thoughts are things. Focus on what you want and where you're going. And it'll happen for you. See you on the next one.